What's up guys? It's V. Welcome back to Danganronpa. So, um, I forgot to save last time. So, we missed just a little bit of them getting to Monokuma Rock. No big deal. I'm about to get into this trial that I've already completed. Well, I've already done the first half of the trial. So, that's good. Because now you guys don't have to watch me flounder about and try to figure this out. Because this trial is actually pretty difficult. So... Let's get back into it. Well, well first we're gonna, we're gonna set our skills. And that skill I got from Akane, Peach Muscle. It's very useful. All right, let's go. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. We've done this plenty of During times already. Trial, Do we really you need explanation? Your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Monami. Oh my! Monami? My cute little sister? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? She say, I'm not playing no more. You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? She's not even tied up. Yes, no! Oh. One more time! Monami's strong. This will be my final blow. Oh, it's useless. I actually feel bad for her, and I I do think that she's she's okay. I don't think she's Please the same stop. as Monokuma. I feel bad for Monami. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monami. The class trial has started, after all. The victim this time is Nagito who was attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. Like you don't know. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. We don't have time for this. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? Nope, nope, that would be bad. The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? Are they the same person? Or... Killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. That's right, we're talking about tape. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. No, that's wrong. The killer did not torture Nagito. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. <sighs> like the trial just gets started. Uh, just He's like, it. let's argue already. Trap? Stupid Hajime, you got caught in that trap. Stupid. You got caught in the trap. I hate the rebuttal showdown. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut. You obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention. This is how it first the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bar. Then, after they killed him, allow me to cut through those words. No. There's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. Because the crinkles. What did you say? 
Who cares about the duct tape? Might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? Are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? I do ship Hajime and Chiaki, though. The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? With wounds like that, you would have to so, hate somebody. Freaking crazy. To hurt them like they that. Psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? We can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that, but that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonya. You have such an amazingly high intellect. To the very end. Alrighty then. Let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? Damn right it is! You've been cussing up a storm, Sonia. The reason for the fire, huh? They're right. We need to clear that up first. The direct cause of the fire was... The oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Mm-hmm. The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Or perhaps opening the door caused... Ah! I missed it! The direct cause of the oil lighter found a the killer used some he lit the curtain on fire. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil? They probably just based on the shape of it can stand upright while the flame. If they tipped over, it could have ignited some way. Maybe they used them. There should have been a way to tip. Or perhaps opening the door caused intense wind what? pressure to tip over the lighter. <laughs> I don't understand why I keep missing it. Okay. The direct cause of the oil lighter <sighs> found a the killer used some he lit the curtain on fire. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil? They probably just based on the shape of it can stand up. If they tipped over, it could have ignited. Some way? Maybe they used it. There should have been a way to tip it. Or perhaps opening the door. There. I agree with that. That's annoying. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan! No. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. 
A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? Yep. In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. With a lovely so diagram. The warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second, and from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? I mean, personally... It just seemed like they wanted to make... A, a creepy atmosphere with that awful you church talking music. about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. Inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymn blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. So what she was hearing was the panels falling over. And as if on cue, it started, it suddenly started. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. It's fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it, it's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protests and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Ah, so the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. Which are much heavier than I thought they would be if they were blocking the door. The, doors, the domino effect started and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? Mm -hmm. But the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. If that door was the only entrance to the warehouse, I see. So the problem Chiaki's talking about is that the killer couldn't have left. I see. If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. Yep. B based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Huh? You don't mean... But if that's true, this murder is actually a suicide. Um, Hajime? What do you mean? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. Camille had to go all the way around. This is my answer. What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? 
He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? <laughs> Don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? Uh, that's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, Would it go? Right. Yeah, as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? Because it's That's obvious he tied himself up. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Well, like he said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but I feel like I'm overlooking something. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. No, that's wrong. That one was easy. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. It wasn't. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. The proof that the burnt rope on Nagito's right arm is a trap, I, I see. believe, was just fine. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. That is not necessary, Akane. Akane, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. Yes, y'all gonna have to pay first. That's definitely wrong. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? Exactly. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. <laughs> I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin! You didn't even get- wait, what? Not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back. What the heck? Hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and spill it! If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest! Who says Benjamin in everyday language? Um, a way to stab yourself in your right hand using only your right hand. It's okay. There's definitely an answer for this. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? <laughs> if he threw the knife into the air, his voice and let after. The knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? I agree with that. that. Sorry if this is kind of boring since I'm not really actually taking the time the to figure it out. He must have used that to prop the, knife. the next part is going to be exciting because I still don't know what happens. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. Ew. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. 
And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. I... I see. So that's the trick. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. If only. A bleeding plushie is super scary. It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long. After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. But he didn't. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then... He probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. Th there is a limit to his constitution. Yeah, he's not that strong. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. The innuendo. Goodness. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. We don't have time for your perversions, Kazuichi. Like said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Uh. Say it one more time. I need to record it. For reasons. Hey, bastard, you better cut it out. Please do. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe yeah, that. Yeah, I could I could believe them killing him, but not like that. None of them are you cruel say like that. You can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Yeah, Monami. Ah, Monami sassing me. Sass him again. But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. So this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. Mm -hmm. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. Believe in your friends! No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer. But suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Huh? I feel that there's... some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. What kind of way? I don't know. You don't know. It's always good to be able to admit when you don't know it's something. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone. Working together. She's right. We made it through several ordeals up until now. By doing that. Even. Then even now. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> Work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. 
No, that's wrong. Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain. But it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? Seeing this for the second time, Makes it all make so much more sense. When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? No. <gasps> There's the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. I don't know, they don't look mild to me. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. That's right, that's the problem. Hey Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. She's thinking. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Really? Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. I need you to be more confident in yourself, Chiaki. I see. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Isn't the size of that cut off section about the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right! So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then, the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? Chiaki's become our leader. I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Hmm... Nagito was gripping the cord, extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Hmm. Shall we have tea time? Yes, please. At a time like this, how about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? That is a very long plan name. That's a long plan name. One step at a time? What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned? Nagito was facing up and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So if it's just before that, that's it. Could it be? The state of the spear and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment if I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. Where the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. Logic dives. Whee! Let's go. I probably shouldn't speed through this.
Move the spear. I was close. Ah. Okay. What else was above him? They do not give you enough time. It's all coming together. The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. Mm -hmm. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? If Nagito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? <laughs> He made it teleport. That'd be awesome, but he probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support, he hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. <sighs> I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. Oops. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with These the spear. These are like some exceptional students because your average high school students could not figure any of this out. Serious? He really committed suicide? Like that? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they'd go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? And who would come up with all of this just to kill themselves? This is for real? He really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body. That was all him? Nagito gangster. Not just that. He did all that while he was gripping a spear? That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mouth too? He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Ugh. Did he need to go that far? He really didn't. That's beyond crazy. Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. His goal was to get us all executed. I mean... But they pretty much came to the conclusion that it was suicide pretty early on. So even if that was his goal, he would have did a terrible job of it. And that's why he stabbed himself over and over again? Did he want us to die that bad? That's messed up. That's seriously so messed up. But they know that's not what he's yeah, like. That's our Nagito. He doesn't do anything for no reason. He doesn't just want them to die. Jeez, I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. A mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. 
That's the form his malice took. I had forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. Well, if you think about it, him killing himself could be him telling us that he is the traitor. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. It probably was. Once he found out that he was the traitor, he got everybody to meet up at the, at the plushie factory and then went off and killed himself. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other and tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm, that should be okay, right? Right? She's not, she's questioning it though. <sighs> what, you're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. It's probably just my imagination. Follow your intuition, Akane. Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is? Or... So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. When your gut's it telling you something and you don't know where it's conclusion. coming from and where to go with it. Then it's okay to end it here, huh? They all sound so apprehensive. That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? You're the only one that thinks this is a happy ending. Then it's okay? It's okay to say, you've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time. No, hold on a sec. <laughs> hold on. Why? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who and it's better is. to even talk a little bit longer. But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense. And it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Something related to Nagito's death, and it's something that even he couldn't have messed with. You're gonna keep going? Here I thought we were finally finished. A piece of evidence even he couldn't mess with. I see! It took me some time to figure this out. Is it about the Monokuma file? Yeah, that's it. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? The victim is Nakito Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. 
The suspicious part of the Monokuma file that Chiaki is worried about is... What is it? What's hidden in the Monokuma file? His cause of death! Let me spell this out real quick. Too much going on. Ah, dang it. Whoa. Is Monokuma file. There's no specific cause of death. And you know, every time something is missing, that means it's pretty important. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? The Seer Nagito stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. And that's what she wants you to think. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well, Monokuma, I plead the fifth. There he goes again. Pleading the fifth. I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say. But even during Gundam's case, and before during Nikon's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Are you saying that applies this time too? <sighs> hold, hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? It's pretty obvious that it was a suicide. You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but, but it's not just a suicide. Come to think of it, did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? Exactly. <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. What friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? Don't do it. I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. That's the case. I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. It is. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma! You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait! We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be alright. The power of That's friendship! What I that is Aww. it. Splendid! You guys are so splendid right now! That's right! If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you! If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. Now that, now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. 
the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. Then, the situation we're in might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. Time to take a break. No, no. Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was gonna start, but well if you think about it rationally, there's no way it's gonna happen. We haven't done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out too. You're the only one who didn't know. Isn't that right, Monami? Monami said, I'm done with your shenanigans. Hey, how much longer are you planning to soak? Let's get along like we always do. You mean the part where you punch her? Alright, you pass. Friendship is measured by how long you can stand the silence when you're all alone with someone else. So, Monami and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I... I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Bes besides the fact that you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know? We aren't even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching the high school rom-com full of guys. Well, there may be some demands for that. Oh. I fell for it. I totally took the man bait. <laughs> okay, so yeah, gonna save, gonna finish off right here. Um, I am really excited to finish the second half because I want to know about the cause of death. Um, I'm thinking maybe the poison has something to do with it. What do you guys think? Um, what do you think of it being a suicide? I always thought that was a possibility, but Nagito is hardcore to do all that to himself, all in the name of hope. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed for more Danganronpa, and I'll see you next time. Bye.